I'm the bad boy. Ten miles an hour, so everybody sees you. Hey, what's up, y'all? We are back with another action figure review. Today, we're looking at the PC Toys Agent J and Agent K. Now, let's get into it. Hey, I want to start by saying, don't come for me in the comments, man, about my intro. I love Will Smith. I love Tommy Lee Jones. Two of some of my favorite actors in Hollywood. And um, I've watched Will Smith since I was younger, man. I've watched almost all his movies. So um, it feels good. It's great. A great thing for me to have a, a Will Smith in my collection. I hope that uh, PC Toys or some other company does Will Smith and some other outfits, like from some other movies. And Tommy Lee Jones, man, um, like I said, he's one of my favorite actors too. I watched him in um that one movie where he was uh tracking down the tracking down the guy in the forest. Uh, I can't remember what the name of that movie was, but he was good in that. He was good in all of those movies. And uh, it's great to have a figure of him too as well. I hope that um maybe we can get some variations of him too. PC in the Toys, PC Toys did an awesome job as far as the likeness with this guy. The more I look at the face, the more I think that man, it's, it really does look like a young Will Smith. Maybe not the expressions he would have on um in Bad Boys. You know, this looks like an expression more like the pursuit of happiness. You know, it looks it looks good. He looks really young. I do like the details for the face. The paintwork looks great. It looks really great. It looks like there's some slight red just under his eyes. If I can capture that, maybe pink or something like that. But it looks really good. His hair looks really good too. I like the way they done that. His shape up is a little off. I don't know if that's accurate, but it's all good. He's got the ears to come out a little bit. So that's pretty cool. And the tailoring for this figure, I think um, he looks really good. I think that the proportions look really good, you know, when tuned with his body and stuff. So that's a nice thing. These suits are definitely tailored well around the figures. It looks a little frumpy right now, but the articulation is not hindered a lot with the outfit. So I think that's really good. And um, in watching the Men in Black movies, I can't remember them ever having like these gold what is that silver yeah silver i can't remember them having these buttons on the inside behind their tie like the inside of their shirt <laughs> anyways um but yeah i don't know if that's accurate or not the belt looks really good it looks like leather so that's pretty cool and these pockets don't work or anything don't try to put anything to that inside of the coat i like that buttons on the back of the shirt on the sleeves the pants are done really nicely and the shoes are done really nicely. Got a little scope work for it. I like that. Nothing much on the bottom of the feet. And then he's got black socks on. And then here we have Agent K, who, as far as the likeness with him, uh, it looks kind of like Tommy Lee Jones, but it looks like a clash, actually, between, like, Josh Brolin, who I also think was in Men in Black 3, and Tommy Lee Jones. So it's kind of in between. For a minute there, I kind of wondered if it was actually Josh Brolin, but I think it it is uh, homeboy Tommy Lee Jones. But the likeness looks really good. I think that the bodies are two different bodies, like as far as the torso and the legs for Agent J and K. Um, I'm not sure about the arms or not, and I do like the padding for this. Uh, it makes him look a little bit more form-fitting, but I think that his head is a little too big, actually. If I can get my lighting right. Proportion to the rest of his body, I think his legs might be just a little bit too skinny with his head. And I think his hands are kind of small too. You'll see that when we get to the accessories. But as far as any differences for the suit, it's pretty much tailored the same way. The pockets are, you know, they're not real pockets. Got the gold for the inside. There's the belt. Pretty much the same suit, but I think that his body is slightly bigger than Will Smith's. And I think Will Smith actually is a little bit taller than him. So, there's that. A little help here, Jay. Come on, bitch. Oh, oh. 
Jay. I quit. For your articulation, I want to start by saying these two guys pretty much move the same way, but I think Tommy Lee Jones may have just a little bit more range in the head area when it comes to looking up. So I wanted to start off just by showing you that. As far as the head, you got that same uh, peg that... uh. Same sculpt work, PC Toys likes to do that one sculpt work for the head and neck. Like I say, you can look up that much. You can't really look up there. You can't really look down that much. So that is unfortunate. And then this head just popped off. You do get a little bit of side to side motion. Just a little bit. As far as the arms, you can get his arms going up a really good amount. Tailoring is done pretty good for this, uh, this jacket right there. There is a bicep swivel. He's got double joints for the arms. It's a little stiff, but I like it. So that comes in a pretty decent amount. It's got that same standard peg for the hands and uh, wrists. You can move it all the way around and all that stuff. Not going to get a full rotation, but you can get his arms back a really good amount as well. Just wanted to mention that. Side to side, which is really good. That's not too bad. But it's the ab crunch, and I think there's two joints in there. First off, I want to say, that's a really awesome ad crunch right there. I love it. As far as the legs, though, it's a pretty good tailoring for the legs. I would suggest to hike up his uh, pants a little bit if you're going to try to push it to his limit. So just hike that up a little bit. Boom. It's almost damn near the whole splits right there. That's enough right there. That's what you're going to need for him. You do, of course, have your thigh swivel, which is really good. He doesn't come back that much, so his legs don't go back. Do have double joints for the knees. Which come in a pretty decent amount. It's not bad. You can get his legs up about... Legs go up about that much. So that's pretty good. I'll take it. And then you got ankles that go up a really good amount, and then they go down a really good amount. There's a rotation right there, too. I can't detect that there's a shift motion at the angles. Usually, that kind of gives them just a little bit more range. But his ankles can go in a really good amount. That's not too bad, actually. I like that. I'll take it. And then the ankles go out. So that's actually pretty good. Why do they always make the ankles going out better? Well, Agent K's accessories, it comes with two fist hands, two relaxed hands, two grip hands, and two open trigger hands. And as far as his guns, I do not know what any of these guns are called, so you will have to forgive me, but they are done really, really nice. Agent K, I think, has the better looking accessories between the two. But look at that futuristic type of gun right there. That looks awesome. I do like that. Looks like some type of flame torch type of maneuver type of mechanic it looks really good he also comes with this gun right here which looks good too it looks like that little globe that had the uh, universe in it or something but i'm probably wrong about that i do like the handle the silver finish that looks really good too nice then he has this gun right here small portable convenient Looks like a golden eye type of gun right there. He does have his shades, which are actually a little smaller in design. The uh, the arms for him are actually a little shorter than Agent J's. So I'll show the comparison for that. And then he also comes with Frank the Pug, who looks really good. I do like the sculpt work for him. The shades are not removable or anything. The paint work for his... Uh, See if I can get that. The paintwork is really sloppy for the tie and the shirt, but the sculpt work looks good for this thing. Super tiny fist hands for Agent K, so that's what I was referring to earlier. That could be a little bit better. A little lighter when it comes to Agent J's accessories. It comes to two relaxed hands, two fist hands, two grip hands, two trigger finger hands. The same hands basically as Agent K. And here's the shades for comparison. This is Agent J's, the long ones. And this one is Agent case with the shorter ones to fit his big head as far as the uh, these little weapons right here 
Um, I'm going to try to pick up one of them. I'm not really going to mess with all of them. But uh, I'm actually missing one. Be careful when you're opening up the packages. These things are so small. Like a piece just pops out literally every time I freaking I open up the package. So this is uh, the extended version of that device that they use to uh, remove the memories or make them forget or something like that. And um, it looks pretty cool. Not too bad. I'm probably never going to use this accessory because it's so freaking small. And I, I just don't want to risk breaking it. But it looks all right. And then you have these other small pieces here. Um, I'm not sure the significance of this really tiny piece right here. This one right here. Yeah, my camera barely even going to pick it up. Too much light. Too much light. Aziz, the piece that I'm missing, I think, is the cricket. Uh, I think it's the cricket from uh, part three. Uh, it was on the early ones, actually, but I'm not sure if he uh, has it in part three. I'm going to have to go back and watch the movie again. Also, be careful with the hands. They are really tight when you're trying to pop them on and off. So that is, uh, you're going to need some hot water definitely for that. And then lastly, they both do come with these PC toy stands. I do want to mention, if you have the Valiverse Weapons Accessories Pack, these weapons do fit into the hands of the PC toys figures. So besides comparisons, then I'm going to get y'all up out of here. Here we have them next to the McFarlane Gene Stiller figure and their NECA Gargoyles Demona figure. Next, here we have them next to two Mayfix figures. We have the John Wick and the Hush Batman. And then lastly, here we have them next to your Marvel Legends, Tom Hall and Peter Parker, your Matrix PC Toys Neo, and your Quartal Bukia. Zero model kit. Final thoughts for the PC Toys Men in Black figures, Agent J and K. Man, PC Toys, they did an awesome job. These figures are freaking solid. As far as the articulation, um, it's done really well as far as the tailoring and stuff. The sculpt work and the likeness, the face printing for these two figures look fairly accurate. Tommy Lee Jones, not as much as Will Smith, but both of them look really good. Got a good amount of accessories, good amount of range, and the fact that both of these figures come from stands is freaking awesome as well. It's good to have stands in your collection these days. The more, the merrier. Honestly, the only real gripes I have with the figure is the fact that it's not two joints at the head and neck. They keep doing that solid scope for that. And um, it does look clean. I can't argue with that. But I mean, I need more range with my figures. So. The other gripe I have is with the price, man. The numbers for these guys is crazy, but it's going to be more expensive if you try to get one of them separately on eBay. So if you got the money to throw around on it, I would recommend it. Did get these figures from 5K Toys, by the way. And y'all, that's my video. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If not, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.